Hi everybody, it's Christy with Christy Cole Artistry and tonight I'm going to be experimenting using um, some of the attachments that um, I've shown you in the past, I just haven't shown you as I've been using them. So this one, for example, is um, one that has two um, slots in it so that when you run down the paint line, um, hopefully the dryer will be able to blow them two different directions. So we're going to try that one out tonight. And we're also going to try out this one. I haven't tried this one, see how clean it is. Um, but it actually, when you put it on the dryer, should blow two different directions. And that's what I'm hoping for. Um, I'm going to be using my Hot Shots dryer. I don't know who makes it. Um, but that's what these were meant for. So I have I'm going to be using little 10 by 10 canvases and um, we're going to just play with this one and see what, what it can do. Um, and then again, we're going to use this double one on the dryer and hopefully that will give, you know, you can run it down a paint line and hopefully it will shoot two different directions. Now I did a painting earlier using um, this one, which is an eight sectioned one. And when you blow it, um, you set this portion in the middle of the paint. Um, I'll show you what it looks like on the dryer. So you set it, okay, so you set it down, put your paint in the middle, and then shoot it out. I did try it earlier, and I'll show you the painting that we ended up with um, doing that. It, um, I use blues and the green, which I'm also going to use again on this one, but um, when it blew out, it didn't blow the eight directions I was hoping it would, but I'm going to show you the painting anyway because I think it came out really pretty. So let me get um, all set up here with the next canvas because um, like I said, I did that one and then I have two more that I'm going to do with those two nozzles that I just showed you. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and here is our little canvas and I'm going to quickly show you the one that I already did with the um, eight hold one and here's what that came out to look like I don't know if you can yeah it's still dripping so I don't want to drip it onto the new painting but it came out sort of looking like some sort of sea creature or something under the sea um, and it was I used pearl on that one um, but I think I'll use maybe silver or gold on this one give it a different effect so here's our little canvas it's a little 10 by 10 I flooded it with black because I think black will um, show the paint for you a little bit better when we're using these nozzles and like I said the first one I'm going to use is this um, double nozzle and you can use it this way or this way so I'm gonna do it uh, sideways the first time and because it has this um, center to it right here I am going to run it down the paint so that I can see. And the paint I'm going to do, I'm going to do it across this way so that I can run the nozzle this way and see if we can get it to push sideways. So let's see what happens. So again, I'm going to use the same colors I did on the last one, but instead of the pearl this time, I am going to use old gold. So here we go. First one is Master's Touch Ocean Green. So let's put that one on first. Again, I am literally just going to run it up this, like that. Okay, the next color I'm going to use is ugh, Artist Loft Light Blue. Okay, next I am going to use um, two of my favorite color paints, and they are Apple Barrel, they're Walmart Apple Barrel paints. Um, this one is called Cloudless. And the reason I'm using it is because it is such a pretty um, aqua type blue. And I cannot find this blue, um, or this blue, green, aqua, whatever. If you notice, it's just a hair lighter than the ocean, um, but I can't find it in any other paint. And the second one that I absolutely love is this Apple Barrel Blue Bonnet. And look at this color. It's so pretty. You just can't, you can't find that color in anything else. And I haven't been able to recreate it using other paints either. So I like them. Um, 
and I'm going to continue to use them until someone else comes up with a paint that's similar or close enough to it. The last one I'm going to use is Master Touch Pale Blue. Love this blue as well. And I'm going to put that one there. Kind of looks like water already. Um, and then I was going to use the lime, the uh, light olive green again. I keep calling it lime green, but it's light olive green. But I'm not going to in this painting because I think it took too much away from the last painting. So instead, um, for a little bit of pop before I put the gold on, I'm going to use my Extreme Sheen Sky Blue Topaz. Okay, it'll give us some cells. And look at the color. It's so pretty. Look at that. Okay. Now we're going to use our old gold. Um, I want to use old gold because I've already put the topaz in there. Um, it's an extreme sheen. I don't need any additional cells when I'm doing this. So I just want the gold to be sort of a accent to the color. All right, that's all we've got. So we're going to search the bubbles in the color. So let's see what this can do. Now this particular dryer is not as powerful as my Revlon dryer. So if this turns out that this particular um, nozzle doesn't work well with this dryer, I'm going to have my husband make me one for my Revlon dryer, which is has a smaller um, nozzle to it. So it needs to be, he needs to make me a new one if this doesn't work. <laughs> because um, I mean, I'm going to ask him nicely to make me another one. So this is the dryer I'm using. It's just a hot shot dryer. Um, it has a this is actually is a cold button, and then I'm going to use high because I want to see how much we can fling without flinging into our previous painting. Here we go. It did what it was supposed to do, although I didn't have it centered enough. I lost a lot of the, the paint over here, um, but it flew off a lot off of there. So I think if I had a larger canvas, it wouldn't have done that. So I'm just going to run it one more time because we're playing and I want to see what happens. I'm going to put it on medium though. So on medium, it doesn't have enough oomph, but if you notice, underneath this black here that blew off, there is a lot of color popping up. So I'm going to put it on high one more time. Okay, so it does what, what um, it's intended to do. Um, it does keep along the center, um, but let me look here, but it also blows a lot of paint off. So that to me that was a kind of a lot of waste of paint. On a bigger canvas I can see this making some absolutely beautiful thunderstorm type paintings. Um, I just don't know what happened here, why it isn't collecting back together together. So, it is kind of pretty though. It reminds me of, um, not thunder, lightning. What am I thinking? can't paint a sound. So I'm just going to pick up some of this and then see if I can move this back over before I lose it all. Sorry you can't see this, but I'm just trying to stretch out some of this because it's got some really pretty stuff going on here. Okay, so I don't like what's going on. kind of like it. Um, the, the nozzle made a really cool design. It just needs to be stretched or put together. So I'm going to add 
a little bit more of my Argus Lop light blue right down here. And then I'm going to add, because I think I lost too much of, whoops, of the ocean green. See, this is what's fun about playing with these nozzles. Whoops. <laughs> That one's got such a problem with it. Okay, and then like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna see if we can get, um, I'm, gonna I'm gonna blow dry it again. Cause I wanna see what else this can do. So here we go again. Okay, now I like that. So what it's doing is is it's giving, can you see that? It's kind of giving the effect of um, like rolling clouds or even rolling waves. And I honestly, I just want to pour it off. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tilt this off. I want to see what, what, what I can stretch out of it. Because I feel like I'm getting some ocean in here and I really like it. There. I really like that. Look at, look, look at. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? That's cool. Okay, so I kind of like what it did. That one was, that one was a little funner than, than the last one. Um, because it did do that. And I was able to, if I had did two stripes, I think if I blew two stripes, I would have got some really um, intense, uh, action going on here versus, I mean, I love this. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is really cool. And I'm going to bring you down so you can see what I'm seeing. But um, let's, um, I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to get the next canvas ready for our really crazy one here. And we'll see what that one can do. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I am back and I have flooded my last canvas for our experiment tonight. Um, and as these are paintings are drying, they're really looking nice. All right, I'm going to torch the bubbles on this one. Just having... to get some of the edges covered here. Because with black, white shows through quite easily. And I know I'm going to have paint running over the edges, but I just want to be sure that there's enough paint to make the edges look nice. The other paintings are still slowly dripping down, so I am scraping them in between. And um, we will blow, torch the bubbles now on this one. A bunch popped up. So bubbles torch there, and then we will uh, start the colors of this one. Um, we did the one with the lime green. We did the one with um, all of the blues and the um, oh, what did we use? We used pearl on one, and did we use silver on the other one? I don't recall now, but. Um, this one, I am going to start with a darker blue. So I'm going to start with my Liquitex Basics Aquamarine. Okay. Then on top of that, I have decided to use, again, the Artist Loft Light Blue because I like the way that came out. I am again going to use the Blue Topaz because I like the way that shimmered on the last painting. I'm going to use my Master's Touch Pale Blue because it goes well with the other two or other three blues. But then I'm going to add my Deco Art Extreme Sheen Rose Quartz. So we're going to add a little pink to this one. Next, I'm going to add in the Master Touch Ocean Green because again, I like the contrast with the blue and I love, look at the colors, how these two look so nice together. The pink and the aqua, beautiful. And then on top, or someplace in between, I haven't decided yet, I'm going to use the Old Gold again. 
I don't want um, too many cells. I've already got two extreme sheens in here. Um, and I want to be able to split up the paints. So I think actually the gold might go next to the um, ultramarine blue. Okay, so on this one, we are going to try out the craziest one yet, which is this double one. So it is a double and the, it's directioned two different ways. I can do it this way or this way. And I think for this painting, I'm gonna actually use it this way on the blow dryer. And we're gonna try going up the side again like this. And see if we can just get it to blow out a little bit more than we did on the last painting. Um, again, without blowing it into our previous painting. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna show you all three of the paintings when we're all done. So now I knew on the last painting that um, when I ran it up the middle, um, for some reason it seemed like there was more black in here. So I'm actually gonna run this one this way, just knowing that um, on my table, evidently the black is pooling a little bit more on the side. So we're gonna try it this way, I guess, yeah. So we'll go like this. And hopefully it'll just shoot, do, 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 do. kind of like a Dutch pour, um, or a, yeah, a Dutch pour without, um, um, picking a direction. I'm hoping this will pick the direction, but we'll see. Okay, so again, I'm going to start out with ultramarine blue. Move this out of the way. Okay, and this is my bottle the top that hasn't been cut yet. One of these days I'll remember that and cut it. Okay, so ultramarine blue on black looks, um, neon almost it's so pretty okay then i am going to add the gold now because i don't want the gold to overwhelm um and it looks really good on top of ultramarine okay next is going to be our ultra or our excuse me artist loft um light blue okay Next is our topaz, which is where we're going to get the extreme sheen um, cells from. Next is the Master Touch Pale Blue. Okay. And now on top of that pale blue is where I'm going to put this rose quartz. Because that means I've got a slight layer of paint in between the two extreme sheens and I'm hoping I get some shimmer and shine out of that. And then on the top here I am going to put my ocean green because I love how it looks with that pink. And I believe I'm just going to add a touch more gold because I would like some gold to shine. There. I like those colors already. Okay, I'm going to torch the bubbles. Then, um, I'm going to use this crazy one, and like I said, so here it is, I'm going to run it this direction, so it'll be um, vertical, and we're just going to see if it's going to do anything. And like I said, the reason for this experiment is to see if these will work, because this is my less powerful dryer. Um, they're not working that great on this dryer. I'm still getting beautiful paintings out of them, but I think what I might do is have him make me um, them for my more pow powerful dr dryer and then see what happens. It also could be the, um, the, um, the background paint is either too thick or too thin, but that's what, like I said, this is an experiment. Right now, the paintings are coming out really pretty. All right, here we go. So, hi cool setting. Let's see what happens. Okay, the first pass was odd because 
it pushed this paint over like I was hoping it would, and you can't see it, but it's got some really cool wave action going on, but it almost brought too much black over. So I am going to try it again. I'm going to go the opposite direction in the hopes that I can bring down um, the paint shooting out this way like it did over here. So I'm going to go the opposite way and try it again. Okay, still I'm not sure how it's working because it's weird. Let me try it again. Okay, now that worked. Okay, that was more like a Dutch pour that la that last time. It sort of shot the directions that I was hoping it would. Um, can you see? Yeah, you can. You can kind of see it. So again, it looks sort of like um, um, clouds or lightning in the sky. I'm just going to scrape some of this off. I think I have too much black paint on here. I like it in underneath here. Um, there is color popping, so we're going to torch it and see if we can drag some of that out. Okay, hang on just a second. Let's see. Let's see what we can get out of here. Yeah, there is some action going on. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I'll lift this up a little bit. You can see right in here. Look at all that. And then here and here and underneath here, I can tell that there's stuff happening. So what I want to do, like I did with the other painting, is I'm going to stretch it out a little bit both directions. Got to be careful so I don't lose all of it. Oh, but there's some some crazy stuff going on now. Look at, can you see? Look at those colors. Look at those colors in here just popping. So I'm going to let that drag down more to that corner since that's where I'm getting them. The stuff in this corner seems to be too far under the black. So if we stretch it down, maybe we can bring some of that out as well. But I do love what's going on in the middle. That is crazy. Here we go. I'm going to bring it back. There. I really like this. Look at this. Isn't that cool? The colors just are so... I don't even know how to explain it. They're just sort of um, developing within themselves. Um, I really wish I could get to some of this though because I feel like there's something under there. And I'm going to try something. I may regret, but that's what we're doing tonight. We're experimenting. I'm going to see if I can pick up some of the black and get some of the hidden color to come up. Okay. So I got a lot, rid of a lot of the black, so now what I need to do Bring this back over. Let's see what we end up with here. I'm kind of liking this. We got rid of some of what I didn't like. Now we just need to finish. Position by tilting this a little bit. So, um, what I have discovered is my hot shot tools dryer is not powerful enough to use these the way that my husband and I had hoped they would be. We really thought there'd be some dramatic um, flaring and things like that, and I didn't get that yet. So, I just need to tell him that I need them for the more powerful dryer. We just didn't want to, you know, like I said, shoot paint everywhere. But I love this. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? 
I'm going to bring you down so you can see um, those are my makeup brushes that I, I get after Christmas that are really cheap so um, I can use them for picking up paint like this. Look at how much paint's in there. Um, and uh, wash them out and reuse them for painting. My brush collection is is quite extensive for this kind of thing because a lot of times when I put you guys on pause I find things in the painting that I want to accentuate or I want to get rid of so sometimes when I say I'll be right back and then I pop back um, I've been gone for sometimes up to an hour fixing little annoyances unfortunately I am very picky um, about bubbles and you know the bubbles look like they should be there like if it's a water scene and they look like they should be be there I'll leave them alone or if they're there um, and they look like cells um, I'll leave them as well but if they're annoying little white bubbles which some of us have been seeing lately <clears throat> I don't like them and I have to get rid of them so sometimes I'm gone for a while okay um I love these three paintings. They are so different. And I love the colors I chose. I'm glad that I changed out the colors a little bit in each painting because I really like them. I'm going to scrape the bottoms again of all of the paintings. I haven't done this one yet, so I'm going to do that now. Um, scrape your bottoms so that once you get your composition set the way you want it, it doesn't get dragged off of the canvas and ruined. Okay, so I'm going to scrape all, like, all three of them, like I said, because they're still dripping. And then um, I'm going to bring you down and I'm going to show you all three of the canvas, or all three of the paintings with the um, nozzle that I used for them. So I will be right back. Here is the first painting using this one. And as you can see, it blew out several different directions. But unfortunately, my hair dryer that I have um, for these attachments is not as powerful as my other dryer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my husband make me um, these three again, if he will. Only on this one, I want these little walls here, these little fins, to go up higher within this. Right now, they just sit there. I think if they were a little bit higher <clears throat> on my more powerful dryer, I would have got some real splatter. And being that this is only a 10 by 10 painting, um, I did get a lot of splatter, um, but the dryer just wasn't put, wasn't uh, strong enough to do what I what, what I wanted it to do, which was blow out eight directions. So I do like the painting though. It reminds me of some sort of uh, sea foam or something. Um, I keep thinking in my mind plankton, but I don't know what plankton really looks like. So, but that is picture number one. Okay. Okay. So here is the second painting that we did with this two pronged one where we run this part down the center of the paint and we can run it this way or we can run it this way. And we ran it this way. Um, both directions, so up this way and back down this way. And I really like this painting. Um, I want to bring you in. Oops, sorry. I'm going to bring you in and show you the cella action that happened, not only by the colors that I chose, but because I did use pearl in this one, but also look at the cells just from running this up and down here. So we have this solid line where we added that extra paint. But then we have all this extra blowout that finally popped up through the black paint, and I really like it. I think it really looks pretty. So that is our second painting using this one. Now, lastly, oh, I have to bring my cord here because I don't want it in that painting. This is the one that we did using this crazy thing. So again, you can we could run it this way up and down, or we can run it this way, and the idea is, if you look at it, that it should shoot the paint two different directions, see? So it's really kind of neat, 
But again, it, I think it needs to be on my more powerful dryer. And I would love to see it on a larger canvas using um, if on my other dryer. So here is the final painting. I really like this one too. I love the way the gold and the pink and the um, topaz mixed in with the um, non-metallics or non-extreme sheen, sorry, uh, paints and ran across the canvas. I did turn this one, I think. No, I did. I blew it this way and I blew it back. Um, but yeah, let's look at the look at look at the cell action and what happened here. So here is how the gold mix so well with the pinks and the turquoise. It's so pretty. And then they've got these cells on top of cells where the colors are just blending together and making these really cool designs. And I didn't blow it any extra or, you know, use my straw or anything. These wisps that you see on the very outside, that was from using that attachment. And I really like that. Isn't that cool? I think it's so pretty. I love the colors. I definitely will use these colors on black again. So here again is the pink. And this is going to dry darker, so you'll be able to see the, the definition a little bit better. But just the ever so slight hint of the ultramarine blue in the background, and then all the other colors just wisping around. It's so pretty. So that is painting number three using this crazy attachment. So I like my attachments. Um, you've seen me use some of the other ones that I have. I've used this little square one on smaller canvases. I've used this one. And then, of course, I have my my original one that's on my powerful dryer. Oops. I just dropped my dryer. Which is this one. And I absolutely love this one. I use this one all the time because it's... It, um, focuses the, heat, the blower on my powerful blower and I get really nice Dutch pours out of that one. Um, I think that's all I have of those attachments. But anyway, these paintings, um, they are little 10 by 10s. I'm going to um, either varnish or gloss coat them. I haven't decided yet. Um, and then they will be on my website or if you're interested you can email me at c c o l e artistry at gmail.com and all my information is at the end of the video so i hope you had fun watching this little trio of um testing test samples i think they came out so cute and actually out of all three of them i think i would rank them oh i don't know because they're all each of them has their own unique beauty to them. I really can't rank them. I was going to rank them, but then I'm looking at them going, I don't know which one I'd pick as my best <laughs> or my favorite. <laughs> so, but again, here they are. This one. I love the cells in this one. They're so cool. Look at those cells. They're just massive and so unique. It's really cool. And of course, I love all the blue colors. And then, of course, we have the first one that I think looks like some sort of something in the sea. And the bubbles just keep, or not bubbles, but the uh, cells just keep popping through. So I've got cells on top of cells on top of cells. And they just keep popping through. So again, I will show you these when they're dry. Um, but I will end this video for now, and I hope everyone's doing well. Um, you know, just take care of yourselves, and I'm so glad and so thankful for those of you that are watching my videos and that have um, liked them and given me comments. Thank you very much. You're so kind. Um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm interested in what you would like to see. Um, so you can email me or just, uh, you know, like and subscribe and comment. Comments are great. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you all. Take care. Bye for now.